Car number 238673, 1984 Chevrolet Corvette. Black. So this came to us um, with mechanical damage. You can see the valve covers are off. It's obviously been sit sitting for a while. They stuffed rags in the intakes here. Um, clean, it looks like a lot of original parts on this thing. So here's our VIN number. So black with tan interior. Get the back opened here. So clean body. But again with mechanical damage. What we'll do here is uh, Get inside, see what electrical things um, work or don't work, and kind of go from there. So, hopping inside again, tan interior. We'll start out with uh, ignition on here and see what we get on the cages so first things first I can hear our stereo on but let's see what we have here so the gauge cluster the LCD is on but I can't really see a whole lot so don't know why that is and I can't quite make out um, anything this only has 71,791 miles um, so the the cluster is dim we'll have to see if we can't figure out a way to test it outside the car it does seem to go through I'm trying to check each one here it does seem to go through and and do the startup sequence appropriately so um, so maybe we've got um, just some bulbs burnt out or something. Um, speaking of headlights, so we've got one headlight motor that's working great. Looks like the right side headlight motor is not working. Um, let's see here. Let's see what else we can test. Definitely have electrical issues here because I don't have um, wipers. Let's see if I can tell, I can see that our switches over here are controlling what we have in the gauge cluster here and it's very very faint again but it is changing what's on the cluster there so I'm pretty confident that's all working as intended um, we have some extra keys here so those down there so uh, stereo old Delco unit that seems to be working. Our HVAC controls. Definitely tight, you can tell the car's been parked for a while. The blower motor is working, so that's all good. Let's try our mirrors. We'll use the left side mirror, do the left side mirror first. Oh. There we go, we're gonna go down, up. Doesn't seem like I have left and right. I'm going the right side mirror. I'm going right, left, up, down. So the right side mirror works fine. Let's try the window on the right side as long as we're here. Regulator seems to function fine. Try our left side. In a little slow. But we're running off of a battery pack as well, so. Let's see if we can get our seat to move here in the driver's side. Backwards.
Forward's a little sticky. But I don't know what the tracks look like. The tilt seems to work in the front, and it seems to work in the back. So it looks like everything's working on the power seat. Um, Trunk release is working. Uh, after that, I don't think we have much else to test. We do have our power locks. Looks like both actuators are sliding back and forth here. Not very far, but they don't have to. Um, so I think that's about it. Again, we can't start this unit, so um don't know if hazards are flashing perhaps there's somebody out there that has a tip for how you get these to light but uh i can't seem to get the display to go um on so um again car number 238673 1984 chevy corvette 71,791 miles. Parts will be available on our website, www.playgroundpar.com um, or our eBay store, Playground Par.